Number 40. If a patient is to be given 10 milliequivalents of potassium chloride IV and the pharmacy stocks KCL 2 milliequivalents per milliliter solution, what volume is needed? A. 2.5 ml, B. 5 ml, C. 10 ml, or D. 12.5 ml? And the answer is B. 5 ml. So for this problem, we're going to determine the volume needed that will contain 10 milliequivalents of potassium chloride. And KCL, that's just the chemical formula for potassium chloride. So um, one way to do this is to set up equivalent fractions, cross multiply, and then divide to solve for X. So our stock solution is KCL 2 milliequivalents per 1 milliliter, so 2 milliequivalents over 1 milliliter equals 10 milliequivalents over x milliliters. So if we solve this, that will tell us how many milliliters we need to have 10 milliequivalents. So if we cross multiply, 10 times 1 is 10, then divide to solve for x divided by 2. So 10 divided by 2 is 5. So 5 milliliters is how much we'll need. And just a reminder about when you set up equivalent fractions, um, the numerator, the top numbers, um, the units must match. And the denominator, the bottom, which is the bottom number, those units must match as well for these equivalent fractions to work. Thanks for watching. For more practice test questions, click below to see my full length PTCB Pharmacy Technician Certification Exam practice test that includes 90 questions with explained answers. And if you find this video useful, please like and share it with others who may find it helpful too. Subscribe to see more of my pharmacy learning videos. And if you'd like to support this channel with a donation, press the heart thanks button to give me a super thanks. Thanks, I really appreciate it.